can put my dress on. Oh, I'll leave you to do that. <laughs>
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. A very good morning, and welcome to your service of Holy Communion. It's good to be sharing with you again. I'm Matthew Stone from St John's Stanmore, just up the road. And it's always a great joy to be able to come and visit neighbouring churches, and for me today to lead your communion service. We continue by praying together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. When the Lord comes, he will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Therefore, in the light of Christ, let us Confess our sins. We pray together. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, purify our hearts and minds that when your Son, Jesus Christ, comes again as judge and saviour, we may be ready to receive him, who is our Lord and our God. Amen. And now Philippa is going to bring our first reading. The first reading is taken from Psalm 103. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he set our sins from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so is the Lord merciful towards those who fear him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be ever, world without end. Amen. If you're able, I invite you to stand for the gospel. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, And learn from me, 
for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. And may I speak in the name of the living God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Friends, please be seated. In this morning's gospel, we hear three things. First, the invitation from Jesus. Second, the pathway of Jesus. And thirdly, the promise from Jesus. The invitation, Jesus says, come to me, all who labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Come is a familiar word in scripture. Come back to me. Come and see. Come follow me are other examples. And God continues to invite us, desiring what is best for us. This is the same God who leads us to restful waters, who desires that our work be service, not slavery. And we are promised the help that we need by a gentle and loving Lord, knowing that he is with us. We then have the pathway, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart. Jesus was speaking at the time to a group of people who had been trying to carry an impossible load, namely the Jewish law and the other standards that were imposed upon them by the religious leaders of the day. Many people carry heavy burdens. Maybe you are carrying a heavy burden, which is where this pathway fits in for us. And finally, the promise, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. God's intention is for us to experience rest for the body, the soul, and the spirit. And this can come only from trusting completely in him and truly surrendering our lives over to him. And it is by doing that that we can confidently lay the burdens that we carry at his feet and to leave them there. Advent, this wonderful season that we're in, reminds us that God the Son came and took on human nature and all that went with being human and although he never sinned, he allowed himself to experience the effects of sin and the burden that it imposes. Perhaps today we might be able to reflect upon this short gospel reading and accept the gentle and glorious invitation from Jesus. Let him enter into whatever burdens you. Let him carry the yoke that you carry and give you instead his gentle yoke that he has prepared for each one of us. The cross we bear, the burdens that we bear, may not go away, but it will be transformed and made light in his grace. Amen. In the power of the Spirit, and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Heavenly Father, thank you that you are our shepherd, 
that you lead us. Thank you that with you our yoke is made easy and our burden is light. Help us to have the confidence to lay our burdens at your feet, confident in your love for us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for your church throughout the world, giving thanks for all people. We pray for all archbishops, bishops, clergy and people as we journey through this season of Advent. Help us to walk in your light, to be people filled with faith as we look forward with eager longing to celebrate again the birth of your Son and also anticipate his return one day through his second coming. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for your world in which we live. Help us to be responsible citizens here on earth. Help us to be mindful of the resources that we use. Thank you for those who are helping to educate us about the dangers of climate change. Thank you for the recent conference in Scotland, COP26, and we pray for world leaders to take forward the actions that they have promised to deliver for the benefit of the world. We also pray for those here in our country, those who find the winter months colder and unbearable, those who are lonely, without adequate finance to heat homes. Help us to be thankful for what we have and help us to be generous with others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for our community, for families, friends and neighbours. We thank you for those we live with, those who nourish and sustain us. We pray for the work of the local schools as they prepare to have their nativities and carol services. Thank you that we are part of your continuing story of good news. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for any we know who are unwell, whether in body, mind or spirit. Pray for those who live with a long-term health condition, those who are anxious, those whose quality of life is diminished. And we also pray with thanksgiving for those who have died recently, for all those whom we love but see no longer, praying that in them your perfect will may be fulfilled. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, rejoicing in the fellowship of St. John and all your saints. We commend ourselves and the whole creation to your unfailing love. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. We offer one another a sign of peace.
The Lord is here. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right and good to give you thanks and praise, Almighty God and everlasting Father, through Jesus Christ, your Son. For when he humbled himself to come among us in human flesh, he fulfilled the plan you formed before the foundation of the world to open for us the way of salvation. Confident that your promise will be fulfilled, we now watch for the day when Christ our Lord will come again in glory. And so we join our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven to proclaim your glory, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself, made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom, and with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Accept through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us 
peace. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And for those who are joining us at home, a prayer for them. Thanks be to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits you have given us, for all the pains and insults you have borne for us. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart, O most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother. May I know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day. Amen. Let us pray. 
Father in heaven who sent your Son to redeem the world and will send him again to be our judge. Give us grace so to imitate him in the humility and purity of his first coming, that when he comes again, we may be ready to greet him with joyful love and firm faith through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We say together, Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you. Scatter the darkness from before your path and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. time ago in Bethlehem, so the Holy Bible says. Mary's boy child, Jesus Christ, was born on Christmas Day. 